Hey everybody, what's going on? Hello, how are you doing? I got, okay, now I'm not gonna lie, you guys, I'm starting to feel a little panic attacky. I got these two gigantic bags today and a little box. Okay, here's what we're gonna say. June was a great month of spending spree joy. July is not going to be like that at all. July isn't going to be like that. I saw a few people in comments express concern for my finances. My finances are fine, but I'm not going to... No. And I'm not going to spend as much on Timu in July, though, as I did in June. But it's been fun kicking off this channel. So let's open these bags. Or we're going to be here. Well, we are going to be here all night anyway. So if you want, pause it right now and go fix a cocktail. Or if that's not your thing, coffee, tea, a drink, something to... Never mind. Okay, what's in here? The first thing that's in here... Let's just get right to it like the real haulers do. Well, the real haulers, though, where are my scissors? I'm already failing miserably. Okay, now I bought two pairs of scissors for this exact purpose. Get them off my bedside table. Also known as a cardboard box. Okay, what this is, is something I'm excited about. It is a neck pillow, except it's not just any neck pillow. Aw, it's shaped like a, is that a kitsune? Or a kitsune fox or a dragon or I don't know what it is. Somebody who's smart tell me what this is. You put it around your neck. You guys, I did use the poofy, if you caught my video last night, I did use the poofy puffy spray, but uh, it's not, it didn't, ugh, uh, it's not really holding up that well, and we kind of used a lot, almost all of it yesterday during that video. There's hardly anything left in there. Come on. Anyway, this thing cost $8.99. It's a fox. Well, you know, it's a Japanese, it's an anime type fox. Okay, cool. I can't wait. I wish I could just lie down right now and take nap. Um, let me pull myself together, please. Sorry not to be looking at the lens. I'm wearing this boho top from Timu. It's cute. It can tie right here. And with little, it's got tassels. So if you want to wear it this way at work, which I did, of course, because, you know, I'm not going to have cleavage hanging out at the office or whatever. You can tie it. And I also have a little tank top here just to keep it appropriate and stuff. So, and I'm wearing it with these pants that we thought I would hate. That's <laughs> how so I show clothes on this channel. These pants... I had a company contact me and ask if I wanted to do a summer dress try-on and they would supply three summer dresses. And I just, no, I don't really want to do that. I am going to collab with some exciting companies coming up, including tomorrow. I hope you guys will watch if I collab with another company. That would be embarrassing if nobody wa if I collabed with a company and nobody watched. And I have a question for seasoned YouTubers, if anyone's out there. If the company gives you the product, but you don't get paid, do you still have to mark it as a paid promotion when you upload your video? I just want to make sure I don't make any mistakes. Okay, what is in this box? It's styrofoam, which we hate. Oh, it's not in this order. Let me pull up the order. Really? I was so proud of my... And we're doing this again. Hold up one sec while I find the order. As usual, they put a million orders in one box. I mean, one bag. I can't see that. Yes, I can. Okay. 
This is a little resin garden ornament for my garden corner. It's really cute. Let me take him out. Yay, he's really cute. Look at how beautiful that is. I'm not just saying that because I'm we're on QVC. It's painted beautifully. He looks all zen and stuff like that. Say salami for the thumbnail cheese or something. Tequila. He was four dollars and forty nine cents. And He's very cute. I'm going to set him right here. He looks very peaceful, and I'm very happy with him. Do I have lipstick on my teeth? No. Okay. I do need to whiten them, though, huh? Ugh. Get those teeth white. All right. Where's my trash bag? Oh, gosh. It's way over there. No, I'm not throwing stuff way over there. I'm just going to set that down on the floor. Next up is now we're going back to the other order. Okay, we'll go back to the other order. Something awesome. It is a welcome mat that I'm gonna put outside our house. If my mother ever leaves the house, when she's gone, I'm going to put this, I'm gonna switch our welcome mat with this one. So we have a dog, hold on a minute. We have a dog named Lucy, and she's a Black Lab Australian Shepherd mix. And man, she gets hair everywhere. We are constantly sweeping it up. And this welcome mat says, welcome, hope you like dog hair. Am I even getting it on the screen? You get the gist, right? Welcome, hope you like dog hair. Okay, now as far as welcome mats go, it's really weird, you guys. This is just a picture of what, it's really foam. So this is foam. This is really cheesy, I'm sorry. It's foam, but it is a picture of the welcome, usual stuff, you know, the stuff welcome mats are made out of. Well, it's a print to look like that when really this is foam that you just, come on, that's really bad. But it'll work for, you know, a laugh, I hope, or she might not think it's funny at all. I think it's funny though. All right, how much did I pay for my welcome mat? I paid $7.98 for this welcome mat. Now that's crazy overpriced for that welcome mat. If it would have been a real welcome mat with the, you know, fake grassy kind of feel to it, you know what I'm trying to say, then it would have been worth it. But that piece of foam, painted, printed to look like a welcome mat. No, shame on that seller. Never forget, don't blame Timu. Timu's just the marketplace. It's the sellers that are some kind, sometimes awesome or not so awesome. I have to remind myself of that too because I don't want to slam dunk on Timu when it's really the seller who just... Okay, shut up and open the next thing. It's a dress. Speaking of summer dresses, it's really blue. Holy cow, I didn't expect it to be this blue. And I paid, don't, I paid five, well, I paid $5.99 for it. I don't. It's like a wrap. Um, well, first of all, the material is horrible. I'm sorry to be a material girl, but the material is horrible. But it's got, you know, it's cute. I mean, the cut of it is cute. Uh, but I don't think I'd ever wear it, you guys. I think it's going straight to the Salvation Army, unfortunately. 
Thank God I only paid $5 for it. Thank you. Really, I didn't mean to take the Lord's name in vain. It is 95% polyester and 5% spandex. And I don't know. I mean, I might try it on, but the blue is just really, really blue. I was looking for a more muted kind of navy blue, like the picture. I wasn't expecting this royal, royal blue. Not that that's not pretty. It's just not going to match my shoes. All right, next in here is another dress. And that's the only two. I feel kind of iffy about buying clothes on Timu because I read um, in Business Insider a couple, a few days ago that Timu, um, no, that some of their sellers might be using workers in unfair work circumstances. Look, I'm just gonna call it sweatshops and I don't wanna be a part of that. This is a much better fabric. It's a boho dress. It's also blue. It's really blue. And I don't know, maybe I'll wear it tomorrow. What is the bottom? The bottom looks like this. What did I pay for this dress? Will I try it on at the end and show you clips of it? No, probably not. I paid 71, no, stop it. I paid $11.19 for this one, and it feels like better quality. It doesn't feel great, but it feels better than the other one. And y'all know I'm going to look at the tag. It's 95% polyester and 5% spandex, but for some reason it feels much better than... The other one. I'll try it on. It's a lot though, isn't it, you guys? <laughs> like, it's a lot. Don't let the dress wear you, which I feel like is going to, well, that's what's going to happen if I put this thing on. I've had enough. Look at this. It looks like I, like a fabric store blew up all over me or something. This shirt was hard enough for me to wear. This shirt is way outside my comfort zone. It's kind of, I like the blue sleeves. I'm not a fan of the orange. Whatever. I feel a little bit stressed out. Oh, look, there was a tie that went around that other blue dress. It ties at the waist. I don't know. It could be cute. I, I'm just, I think I'm done ordering clothes from Timu. Next up. Oh, bum, 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 bum is a vacuum sealed, my favorite. Although it didn't go whoosh. It's a ghost throw pillow. It's a ghost throw pillow. Um, it's got little, you know, tassels or whatever we call them here. Happy Halloween! It's just around the corner. Don't laugh. Get this out of the way for the thumbnail. Happy Halloween. Everybody say candy. I'm on a diet, so probably no candy for me. I paid. Where in the world are my glasses is the question of the day. Okay. Good Lord. I paid $6 and Wow, I look like hell today. I paid six eighty eight, but then I was refunded, but now the price has gone back up to six ninety seven. But it's a cool ghost. I like this pillow. Put it back here with my my other pillows. Oops. We'll never see that again. Well, whatever. I'll fix it later. I try to do something with myself. Oh, forget it. Okay, what's next? Oh, I'm not taking that out yet. Oh, ooh, this is horrible. Oh, no. What was this? First of all, this is not in this order. And second of all, why? I 
I don't even want to know. It's an alien doll. Put it way up to the camera. Hold its head up. It's going to eat you. Look at that. Look at it. Please don't have any like inappropriate parts hanging out. Okay, it doesn't. I don't know what I was... You know what? Sometimes at night before I go to sleep, I'll take my Ambien. And then while I'm waiting for it to kick in, I'll make the mistake of... Um, scrolling through the Timu app and I'm blaming this one on Ambien. How much did I pay for it? I don't know. It's not in this order. It's in this order. Please tell me I only paid, okay, I only paid only $8.49 for this creepy, okay, this is going to go in my 4,000 subscriber giveaway extravaganza box. And I know everyone will clamor to enter and win it. Thank you guys so much, all, all the new subscribers. I can't believe that my channel is almost up to 4,000 subscribers. That's really awesome. Thank you. I appreciate everybody who leaves nice comments and hits the like button and watches these videos. I, like, I don't even know what to say. I'm so blown away by it. But, sure, maybe I'll put... Oh, I can't even look at it. I gotta turn it around. Look at this face. I looked over and saw this face looking at me. And it just... Why, though? What was somebody thinking when they made this? What were they trying to do? Oh, I can't. I can't. I gotta, I gotta put it face down, cover it up with this blue dress like a little kid. I don't want it in this room at night. All right, this is another box. I feel like I need to hydrate now. I feel nervous and panicky. And my lips feel as dry as the desert. This is another little garden creature. He was $5.98. He is really awesome. I love him a lot. He's really cute. In fact, I kind of don't want to put him out in the garden because, I don't know, I'll put them somewhere in my room. I'm going to set it right here next to the, well, I don't know where I'm going to Put one here and put one here. I have a little table set up. Okay, where is my hydration? Where is my moonshine jug? I think we're done with this bag almost, but I gotta get the... And someone asked if I, if this is the same water. No, you guys, I change this water every day and I wash it with a special wire brush and everything. I'm not just always drinking the same jug of water. That's disgusting. Okay. Everybody hydrate. Okay, I'm feeling around in here. There's one thing left in this bag. And what? More wall art. How can that be? We know that's always fun to get open. I like to just kind of, oh, ouch, that hurt my, I pinched my finger in the thing. I like to just kind of slice around the top and then twist it, maybe. Yeah, that worked. I know people are getting tired of the, oh, there's tape, three things of tape on it. Okay, thanks. Well, good. I'm glad they wrapped it up properly. I'm not even in the frame. Look at my hair. Good Lord. I need a haircut. I need a hairstyle. And I need to either go back to being a brunette or get more blonde. But something I'm just not happy with. I'm just not happy with my hair these days. It looks square too. It's got like a square hairline. It looks like a rectangle right there. All right, don't be so hard on yourself. Okay, I won't. 
I'm just happy to be alive and have my health. And I really, really hate that alien doll. I'm afraid if I say it too loud, I'm going to really make it angry and it's going to hurt me in the middle of the night. Okay, come on. Yeah, it takes forever. It's Van Gogh, but it's not just Van Gogh. <laughs> it's Van Gogh with a little cat in the middle of the irises. That is awesome. Now, I need to show you guys how to work the magnetic frames that you can buy on Timu. Because, yes, those are good for this kind of printed canvas. And... I have one of them hanging up over there. I can't show you, but it worked out well. I just need to order more. Not anytime soon. I'm kind of taking a little break from ordering. I've got a lot of orders coming. Everything in June. I ordered a lot in June, you guys. And that is not happening again in July. July is going to be my month of prosperity, which means stop ordering stuff, period. All right, now we can fill every inch of every wall in this place and beyond. Okay, I think that's the end of this bag. Oh, what did I pay for that? That's a good question. I paid... $2.98, but then I got a price adjustment. It is $2.69. Okay, shake this, twirl it around, okay. All right. Uh, to answer, uh, I wish I could stop saying, uh, to answer some questions, I don't have a P.O. box, but that's very thoughtful of you to ask. I don't, I don't plan on getting a P.O. box, and a lot of people... A few people have asked me for my address, and I just don't give it out. I'm so sorry, but I really, really appreciate the sentiment. At the at this time right now, though, I don't have a P.O. box, nor do I really plan on getting one. Now, I mean, maybe if I reach something like 15,000 subscribers or something, I'd get... P.O. box? I don't know. Okay, what is this? Oh, this is a hold. <laughs> I can't wait. I'm excited about this. Just let me find the order, please. Because that looked like a pancake, and that makes me excited. That makes me excited. Where are my wigs, you guys? You guys will be happy to know that I ordered a bunch of wigs. And we're going to try them on and maybe I'll even wear them because, oh, cool. I found the order. All right. Oh, I feel like I'm coming down with something, but I always do. Okay, this is, you guys, this thing that I have with plushies has got to stop. It is really, it's really jam-packed in here. And it is a plushy pancake cat. And it's going to poof out. It's got butter and syrup on the front of it, on the top of it. It's got a little, it's got a little tail. And it's got a little... We just got to get the wrinkles out of it and stuff. Throw it in the dryer, maybe. And it's pancake. Okay, I love pancakes and I love cats and I love plushies. So it's the perfect combination. It is $7.64. And you know what my problem is now? That I keep buying things in that price range. And so now Timu and my feed only show, I like, I don't get the cheap 22 cent stuff in my Timu feeds. Timu only shows me stuff that's around $10 and that's got to stop because I don't want to spend any more, like, I, I don't want to 
buy things like that pancake cat anymore. This is a really cool idea, you guys. It's a portable dry erase whiteboard. And I'm excited to take it to work. Here's the little thing you wipe it with. And here it is. And then here's the pen. And I'm going to lose that wipe, though. Anywho, is there a pocket or anything? No, but it's cool. I like it. It was only $4.39, and it's going to come in handy at the office. So, yay. That's the one thing so far that I'm really going to wholeheartedly use and not just go, oh, that's cool. Okay, what else is in here? Okay, this is not what I ordered at all. Or it doesn't look anything, let's try to rephrase that. This doesn't look anything like the picture. The box is beat to hell. It is a curling blow dryer. Okay, yeah, this is what I wanted. Okay, so back in the day, you guys, Revlon used to make theirs like this. Now it's, now it's really fancy, but Revlon used to have a curling thing like this with a two, you could do two sizes. You could do this size or this size. And does it have cold? It should have a cold button. Okay, you can change the way it, rotation and yeah you can set the heat to cold so I wouldn't have this flat hair if I use this you can roll it dry it and then freeze it with the cold button and yeah it looks just like they don't make them anymore I mean they make them but they're like too big for my thin hair but this one I don't know I'm gonna try it I'm scared to try an electronic thing from team <laughs> I'm a little bit scared, but yeah, for, for a minute when I looked at the box, I thought it was like the newer ones, and I like these old school ones. So, I paid, did I really? $17.47 for that? Okay. It was worth it if it's going to do what I want it to do. We'll have to see. Here's another box with more styrofoam, which, ugh, which we love. It is, I'm sorry I keep licking my lips. They're driving me insane. I put way too much lip plumper on them. It's, I thought it would be bigger. I thought it would be bigger. It's an Alice in Wonderland statue. I didn't buy the other ones. I just bought Alice. I wanted her to go under my bird bath. I don't know why, because my bird bath is lonely and needs, of course, she would get covered with bird poop. But she was, I got refunded, $5.79. And you could get the Mad Hatter, the Cheshire Cat, the Caterpillar, the Rabbit, the White Rabbit. You could get all of those. I picked Alice. I don't know why. She's cute, though, you guys. Her details are really cute and pretty. Her dress is pretty. If you're into Alice in Wonderland, what does it say on the back? I don't know. It doesn't say anything. I thought it said something right here, but it's just the grass. But I like the ruffles and her little shoes and her little pockets full of flowers or whatever. They did a good job on this. And she's a decent weight. She made out of resin. I don't know. Okay, excited. Kind of. It's not in a dust bag which is lame. It's in plastic. It does have feet. Oh my gosh, it's another bag. Now, I just saw somebody else get a bag like this, and I can't remember. 
I can't remember, but there are some, there are some smaller, hold on a minute. Still licking my lips. Do a shot every time I lick my lips. So there are some other channels that are growing like mine, and one of them is Kelly's Unboxing Addiction, and another one is Oh Sure, It's Lana, and they only need, or they may have reached it today, they only need a few more subs to get to a thousand subs, meaning subscribers, not sandwiches, and I'm going to link them down below in my description and please go over there and check them out and subscribe if you feel so inclined that would be really cool i love the color of this bag and all the different pockets it's got side pockets here uh-oh so much for that zipper okay the zipper is really cheap i think it's just for show it's just for show all right never mind Really? These are fake? There's nothing in here? These are fake. They're just zippers that do nothing and go nowhere. Except into the depths of hell. It's got a little bear hanging off. It's got this thing that says Kopi. I don't know why. It's got... It's got a British vibe I like the red a lot. Okay, the back. The zippers are really cheap, you guys. It's got a... This is a real pocket back here, at least. So, there's that. Inside, it's got another big strap that says... City and Life, New Fashion... Something in bag 1980. I don't know, you guys. It just has mumble jumble on it. And it's got some fluffy stuff. It's got two... Okay, I like the inside. It's got two compartments in here. It's got an inside pocket with a zipper in here. So, it's all good. It's cute. I'll probably take the bear off because... You know, I can't run around with a bear. I right, put it here. It feels like my lips are sh shriveling up. It feels like I'm having a hot flash. Oh, what did I pay for that? I paid eighteen forty-eight. No, then I got refunded fourteen seventy-nine. Is what it costs now. This is a dress that already I can look right through the bag and see that it looks like a swimming suit. Look at, you can tell I'm having a hot flash. Hot flash. My face is getting all flushed, I'm dying. It feels like there's boiling water in my veins right now. I hate it, I hate it so much. This dress is really cool. It feels rubbery and whatever, but what I'm gonna, and it's a tank dress, but I'm gonna wear it with a little summer sweater over it. Wow, it's long. It might be way too long. <laughs> it looks like one of those magician things that you pull out and it never stops. Holy cow, it's really long. Who is this designed for, a basketball player? So I don't know, but I might wear it. I'm going to try this one on. It's 100% polyester. I can tell you that right now by not even looking at the tag. But I am going to look at the tag because I'm tag obsessed like that. I deleted some more comments today that said, what pills are you on? I'm not on any pills except for antidepressants. This is 65% cotton and 35% polyester. So I was way wrong. It feels like 300% polyester, but it's really pretty. I mean, if anything, we could wear it as a shawl. What did I pay for this? 
I paid 12 bucks. Oh wait, I got I got a price adjustment on it, so I paid nine dollars and twenty-seven cents for this thing. And I really think that it is going to sweep the floor. All right, I need more water. So yeah, my antidepressants give me dry mouth. And my life gives me shaky hands. But I kind of reached the point where like, I don't want to do this channel anymore. Like I get so tired of the comments that say, what drugs are you on? That I don't want to, like it's starting to really get to me. Like I don't want to do this anymore. I don't know. This is one of those headbands that you put on while you do... <laughs> I look like a flower while you do your makeup. One of those poofy ones. Now, I saw Twisted Gypsy got it, and I'm like, oh, I want one of those. I see a lot of stuff on Twisted Gypsy's channel that I'm like, I want one of those. Where's my brush? Let me get my little glitter brush and try to clean myself up, kids. I don't have the, I don't have the poofy, powdery stuff, but that stuff is almost gone. Yeah, it's just flat, thin hair that does nothing. I should put it in a ponytail or I should do something. We're never going to get through this. We're never going to get through this. This is purgatory that we're all in. I got another one of the... Oh, I'm excited about this. I got another one of these braided hair, human hair headbands. Be careful when you take it out. Right on. It doesn't match at all. I don't care. It used to match before I got some highlights in. All right. There. I look great. How much did I pay for that thing? $227, $177. $177. I got credit back on that. Somebody asked how to get credit back. I made a video called How to Get Your Price Adjustments. Now, I don't know if they do that in every country or not though you guys you guys from other countries all two of you or whatever tell me if they um give you price adjustments in your country in your order or if you've ever even looked for them i think this is just a wig cap you guys in anticipation of the wigs that i bought yeah it's a pack of wig caps 10 wig caps for $2.69. Wow. Now, I did not buy 10 wigs, but I might have bought like five or six. And what else is in here? This is cool. I'm sure you've seen this in your feeds. In your feeds. It goes on top of a can. And you can, like, so for instance, here, this is my favorite thing to make. I take, put that down for a minute, lick my lips so everybody do a shot. I take Bob Evans macaroni and cheese. Then when it's halfway cooked, you know, because you cook it in the microwave, because that's the best kind of cooking that I do. And then I take that. And then halfway through, when you have to take it out of the microwave and stir it, I dump a can of Rotel in it and then stir it up. And sometimes I'll put some turmeric in it because turmeric is good for you and it gives it like kind of a cool flavor. So I'll shake some turmeric in it, dump some Rotel. And if I happen to have any sliced mushrooms in a jar, I'll throw some of those in there too. And then I'll put it back in the microwave finish cooking it, mix it all up, and oh, it tastes so awesome. It tastes like Rotel dip on macaroni. It just tastes so good. But the one thing I always have to do is drain the juice out of the Rotel can. So this is exactly what that's for. Draining, you put it on a can and you can drain the juice out of a can. And it was $1.25. And it's green. Next up. What in the world? 
What in the world is this? It feels like another doormat. Oh, wait. Did I say what I paid for this head mess beauty headband thing? I paid a dollar ninety seven. Where are my glasses? <laughs> I thought these were my glasses. I'm fine. I paid a dollar ninety seven for this thing. And it was sold out for a long time. Now it's back in stock. Wait, let me see if it's back in stock. Yeah, now it's back in stock in all the colors, you guys. It was sold out for a while. Okay, I'm still trying to figure out what this is. I have no idea. Oh, yes I do. It's a storage box. Because I need to store some things. Here, let's open it and see... Then we can throw everything from this haul in there. How are we doing on time? 41 minutes? Do I have to put it together? Because if I do, I'm going to... Alright. Here it is. And then this is the piece that goes in the bottom. Keep it open. All right, like this, and then it's got a flap. And I think, is this Velcro? And it closes like this. Nice, nice storage box, nice size. <laughs> what is, look at this pile. You can see this pile of stuff right here. And if it falls, we're all gonna die. I paid $4.79 for that. I'm about to... The thing with lip plumper is after you use it a couple times, it really messes up your lips. I bought another one of those balloon dog necklaces because mine is already starting to tarnish, but I thought I saw on maybe Kelly's Unboxing Addiction that you can Google how to remove tarnish from a necklace and use lemon juice or something. I got to Google it too. And if that's the case, then I don't need to buy duplicates of all the things on Timu that I like. But this is one of my favorite necklaces on Timu. And it is a balloon. Hold on a minute. It's a balloon dog. Wow, my hand. Does anybody read palms? Okay. And it cost a dollar thirty seven. Oh wait, I got I got a price adjustment on it. So it costs it's out of stock. Darn it, it's sold out. Notify me when it comes back so I can buy 10 more. All right, sorry everybody if you like that. It's currently out of stock, but maybe just from that one seller. It might have it somewhere else. Okay, I think that's every. Lick my lips, do a shot. These earrings I thought were trippy. Trippy. They're tentacle. <laughs> Wait, can you see? Cover my face so it won't focus on my face. They're octopus. They're octopus tentacles. I don't know if you can see them well enough, but what would they look like on? What's the other one? Oh, I don't, I can't tell because I got these big ones. I got these from Timu too. These two mismatched ones that go with the boho shirt. They are pretty decent size. Hold them up to, like, here. They're okay. I don't know. I don't know what I was thinking. I don't know what I was thinking when I bought 89-cent octopus tentacle earrings 
and that creepy, creepy alien doll. Now, look, I like aliens a lot, but not like that, I don't. That's really unsettling. All right, I think that's the end of this box. I mean, bag. It is... I don't even have any... Bleh. I don't even have anywhere to put these. Oh, this, the pile of stuff just fell that way. All right, I'm going to put it in the pink makeup bag. Hold on a minute so we don't lose them. There goes the storage box. Clover's fast asleep in my papazon chair. Okay, let me, give me a minute. I got one more thing. Okay, now. I like the perfume Black Orchid. And all I can afford, Tom Ford's Black Orchid. And I have this sample of it from Scentbird, which I subscribe to. If anybody subscribes to Scentbird, where you get, except I get a different perfume you can choose every month, every other month, or every third month. And I think I'm on the every other month plan. So I like Black Orchid. I can't, well, of course, <laughs> yes, I can. If I stop buying all this crap on Timu, I could certainly buy a full bottle of Black Orchid, but I looked to see, on Timu, I did a search to see if they had a, I hate, I'm starting to hate this word, dupe of it, and it came up with, I think, Dark Flower or something. Let me find, hold on, let me find it. It's not in this order, it's in a different order. I think it's in the wig order. Of course, the wigs didn't show up, but the perfume did. No. Okay, right here. Whoa. Okay. Sit up straight. Request a price adjustment. I will. Why won't it? In talk, oh, these are not my glasses. I keep reaching for this thinking these are my glasses. Intoxicating orchids. So I'm gonna take my sample. I can't put these on over my glasses. I mean, over my headband. I'm gonna take the sample of intoxicating orchid and I'm gonna see if it smells like and look, it says request a price adjustment for 40 cents. Yes, please. Okay. What did I... Oops. Why they want to do me like that? What did I pay for that? I paid... This perfume, I paid $11.24 for this intoxicating orchid perfume that I really hope smells like black orchid and it kind of looked like the bottle too but I, let me get it out of that little container the container y'all they packed it like a little square is what I mean let me cut this square up and get it out I don't even know if I'm going to upload this. That would be a waste, wouldn't it? Of big bags. I don't know. I'm just not feeling it today. I'm feeling tired. I'm feeling dried out. I'm feeling parched. Okay, it's Jean Miss. Or Jean Miss. Now this says Sensual Magnolia on it. That's not what I ordered. I ordered Intoxicating Orchid. Oh, it says Intoxicating Orchid Perfume Spray. All right, you know what? I like the smell of magnolias, so if it does smell like magnolias, it's fine. Let me get it out. Get the glasses off. 
All right, it's a beautiful bottle. All right, please don't make me regret it. Shake it. I don't know. It smells all right. Does it smell anything like black orchid though? It smells like flowers. Wait, do I have to do something with this? How do I do this? I don't, it does not smell like, it doesn't smell like black orchid at all. It smells like, um, I don't know, you guys. I can't describe. It smells like perfume. <laughs> I don't know how to describe perfume. I'm I'm disappointed that it's not a dupe of at all of black Tom Ford's black orchid. But oh well, I tried. It's always kind of weird ordering perfume online, just like candles, because you can't see what they really smell like. Okay, I think that's it. Tomorrow, you guys, I'm going to have a purse video, and I hope you watch it because I'm excited that this company asked me to re review their purse, I think, or else it's shoes. Either way, I'm excited that a company asked me to do anything. So, thank you, you guys, 51 minutes for watching, and this felt like a fiasco to me. It just felt kind of blah, and I'm sorry. I'm not, I'm not like in a, I don't know what my deal is today. I kind of want to get, I think it's this shirt. Let's blame this horrible shirt. I kind of want to get it off and these pants, like they're just not my jam kind of. I'm not a boho type person. I don't really know what type of a person I am, but I know I'm not a boho type person. Okay, are there any more questions that I need to answer Besides, are you on drugs? No, I'm not on drugs. Are you, what pills are you on? None, I'm on, I already told you I take Vralar for depression, the end. Um, I'm just staring at the lens while I try to think of any. Got that tapestry on Amazon. No, I don't have a P.O. box. And... No, I haven't put the bedside table together yet. Clover is hanging in there. She needs a lot of attention and love. That's why we haven't gotten a kitten yet because then I feel like all the attention, or even a, a new cat, I feel like all the attention would be on the new cat and it would just make it worse. So we're still looking for a cat to foster. And that's about it, you guys. That's all I got. All right, if you watch this, thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a great night. I don't know if I'm going to link these orders down below or not. If you saw something that you really want to get, like that alien doll, if you've got like a burning desire to get that, let me know in comments and I will put the link. I'll give you the link to the item. Otherwise, there are just too many orders. I can't even remember which orders. I don't want to post them all in my... Like, if you want this pancake cat, for example, this is my... Okay, what was my favorite thing in this haul? Probably... Pancake cat? <laughs> or wait, what was this? Oh, these are wig caps. Uh, depending on how this works, possibly this thing was my favorite thing in the haul. My least favorite thing? We all know my, my least favorite thing was... Dun 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 da da da. <laughs> and I like this whiteboard. I'm simple like that. This whiteboard makes me happy. It's gonna be fun to use. Okay, now I want some macaroni and cheese. I'm gonna go down and make some. Bye, everybody. I'll see you tomorrow. Take care. How do I stop this thing?